The private sector firm Centum Electronics Limited has won the bid for gallium nitride-based expand plank unit, and the company has to deliver it to the DRDO's electronics and radar development establishment by 6 of June 2022. That will be used in the development of gallium nitride AESA radar system. The electronics and radar development establishment is working on the first X-band ESA radar with gallium nitride transmit receive modules, and this technology will enable detection of more targets at longer distances, and will also be capable of detecting enemy stealth aircraft. The next generation radar will be integrated on the AMCA and twin engine deck based fighters, that will provide the Indian Air Force a major edge over its adversaries. A joint team of the Indian Air Force and the DRDO had recently tested the satellite navigation variant and electro-optical seeker variant of the smart anti-airfield weapon system, and now the DRDO is working on a new variant of the SAW, which will feature a shaped charge warhead, that will breach the frontal defenses of the heavily hardened enemy target, and it will allow the main follow-through warhead to penetrate larger into the enemy's structure and do the damage. The saw weighs 125 kilograms and is much lighter and cheaper as compared to a foreign origin weapon system of the same class. Reliance Industries' own startup firm Asteria Aerospace Private Limited has bagged orders for 40 plus units of Cygnus A10 mini unmanned aerial system from the Indian Army. The Cygnus A10 is equipped with a brushless electric motor powered by rechargeable batteries, and it has a cruising speed of 50 km per hour and a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. It weighs less than 4 kg with payload, and has an endurance of up to 90 minutes on a single battery charge, and is capable of performing fully autonomous takeoff navigation and landing using an autopilot system. The primary payloads that have been incorporated into the drone includes visual and thermal cameras, that can stream real-time high-definition video over a distance of up to 15 km. The date for the visit of the Russian President Vladimir Putin to New Delhi has been finalized, and he will be visiting India in the first week of December for the annual summit between the two countries on 6 December, and interestingly, his visit coincides with the delivery of the first S-400 unit to the Indian Air Force. A number of agreements will be signed, that includes local production of 6.5 lakh AK-203 rifles, 12 Su-30 and 21 MiG-29 fighters, 6 CAM of 31 early warning helicopters, and an additional order for 464 T-90 tanks. The Russian defense minister has announced that Russia is developing an advanced S-550 missile system, and the orders came directly from the Russian President Vladimir Putin at a recent meeting. While the defense minister did not provide any details on the newly mentioned S-550 missile system, Russia's TASS news agency has reported that the S-550 High Mobility Terminal Air Defense System had started development in 1981, but this project was scrapped as part of the US-Soviet Union arms control agreements. During the Goa Maritime Conclave 2021, the Indian Navy has offered the delegates from foreign navies a potential opportunity to formalize a pact for submarine rescue support. The Navy chiefs of 12 Indian Ocean nations were given a chance to witness the capabilities of the destroyer INS Kochi, and the deep submergence rescue vehicle that is capable of rescuing crew from disabled submarines from a depth of 651 meters. Chinese media has reported that China has successfully completed the combat trial of the WZ-7 high-altitude reconnaissance drone, and it tracked a surveillance target flying at high altitude for an extended period, and was also able to pass information to a command center, which then relayed it to fighter jets to strike the target.